What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be installing some vinyl plank flooring into the trunk of my Corolla. So I have seen a lot of people do this with the laminate flooring, which looks good and seems pretty easy. But this stuff should be a lot easier to install because you don't even need a saw to cut this stuff. Pretty much all your cuts can be done with a razor blade. I'm going to go from this to this. So with all that being said, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to take out my sub out of the trunk real quick. Which shouldn't be too hard. Just got a few cables on the on the side. I'll undo those real quick and then pop the sub out. And then we gotta work on getting the, the bottom plastic. I don't know if that's plastic. The, the hard cover off the bottom here. And that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna take that out of the trunk so it's a lot easier to work with. And we're just gonna pretty much outline that whole thing out of the car and then be able to stick it right into here. So let's get the sub out. All right, you guys, so I got the floor mat out and I also took my sub out. So you can see the whole mat is out there and you can see the spare tire and everything. So one thing too, one reason why I kind of wanted to do this was the the glue on this fabric for me wasn't really sticking good and so it's been kind of peeling up um but if yours isn't if you try to do this you're gonna have to try to somehow get this off and pull it off but as you see mine came off pretty good so this is what we're going to try to stick the floor to. I don't really think, hopefully the floor will actually stick to this. It does seem like some type of plastic, so I don't see why it wouldn't. But let's get started laying this flooring out and seeing how how we should do it. Alright, and here's the flooring I got. I ordered it from Amazon. Um, I'm pretty sure one box will probably be plenty to do this trunk. Because I kind of roughly measured it before I ordered it. and I'm pretty sure it's smaller than 15 square feet, which one box can do. But I ordered a second one just in case I needed it. Maybe I can also put it in my Camry over there. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But let's open this up, pull some of these out, and start laying them on top. out it looks like one might be enough I don't know because I still have two over here when you're installing this you kind of want to have them like staggered so that way it actually looks like a nice wood flooring pattern versus putting them right next to each other so we're at to start by cutting one of these in half and then working our way around and seeing how much extra we have but like I said I got another one just in case this isn't going to be enough. Let's get to the first cut. Here's the first piece. I'm just peel off the back. All right, and also when I'm laying this, I'm making sure I have extra hanging off each side so I can just trim it up on both sides. So I got my first piece cut out and everything. 
Um, this stuff is actually a little bit harder than I thought to cut, but the best way I found out was to place it down, then flip it over, and then just trim it along this because I don't know, it doesn't seem to stick that good. I don't know if the ad adhesion needs to like set up a little bit, but it kind of was sliding around on me a little bit. But I noticed that flipping it over and then putting it on the ground did help. And then the cut doesn't look terrible. I mean, it's not going to be a professional install. But I mean, let's be honest, I've never installed this kind of flooring before, so this is my first time ever working with it. I have done laminate, but I've never done this peel and stick vinyl, so. But I think once you get the hang of it, it should go pretty easy. Let's go on to the next piece. <laughs> Alright guys, so just wanted to give you a quick update where I'm at. I'm about halfway done with it. Um, it's not looking too bad. Some of my cuts are a little jagged. It's kind of hard to get a razor blade to make these nice rounded cuts. But I mean, all in all, it does look pretty good. So I'm pretty satisfied with it. The glue seems to be pretty sticky, and I'm having some problems with it, like sticking to the the laminate itself or the vinyl but hopefully I'll be able to get some just isopropyl alcohol and be able to scrub that off but let's continue finishing up the rest of this oh and something else I totally forgot to mention too is on this on the back it has these arrows so that way you point the the vinyl in the same direction every single time so just make sure you keep that in mind that the arrows are going to be in one direction. I'm just making sure they all go to the front of this. completely on the back over here um came out pretty good the only thing i mean i don't know if we gotta like put some weight on this or something to help it just fully seat down but i'm gonna go over it real quick with some isopropyl alcohol um i don't know if you can see there's like some glue residue on some of these joints here so i'm gonna try to get rid of all that smooth that out really good and then we'll pop it in the trunk Hey guys, so I got it all cleaned up, ready to go. Pretty much ready to pop this thing right up in the trunk. But first, I want to clean up everything real quick. I mean, I've made a pretty big mess with all these. Also, wanted to mention one case was able to do this whole thing, so you would not need two cases because. I still had one full one and then about a half of another one. So I had one and a half ones over. Yeah, I didn't make any mistakes. So, but if you do make mistakes, you have one and a half pieces left over to do this. Um, and then a couple other miscellaneous pieces that I'm probably just going to throw away because they're really small. But yeah, let's get all this cleaned up and then we'll hop into the trunk and throw this thing in there. What you've been waiting for, let's see what it looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like. I think it came out pretty good. And if you're wondering too, my, my carpet pad thing stops here because 
I have a, a plastic tray here, so that's why it's not even. All right, so let's plug in the sub and finish this up. I got everything all installed in the trunk. I think it looks great. Um, well worth it. I mean, I only paid like 20 something dollars for the flooring, if you only count the one box I bought, but definitely worth it. So let's finally go take a look and see what this looks like. So that's gonna wrap up the video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of me installing the vinyl flooring in the trunk. Hopefully I gave you guys some good ideas on what to do with yours. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also smash that like button to get this going on the YouTube algorithm. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.